Have you ever seen a dog taking on a mountain lion? Or one protecting its owner from notorious wolves? What about a brave dog that risked his life and attacked the mighty polar bear for the safety of its owner? I know these happenings might sound unbelievable and somewhat made up, but as you can see, they happened and were caught on camera. Encounters with wild animals can pose a serious threat to your safety, but having the right dog by your side can provide an added layer of protection. Some dog breeds have the will and strength to hold their own against much larger animals than their size. Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Forever Green. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the best dog breeds that are known for their ability to keep you safe from wild animals during your outdoor adventures. Number 20. Alaskan Malamute If any dog breed would stand up against a polar bear, it most likely had to be the Malamute for a couple of reasons. Firstly, they primarily live within the same territory and are bound to run into each other occasionally. Secondly, these large, highly intelligent dogs were bred primarily to hunt large game like seals and, yes, polar bears. Check out how this fearless pooch goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the polar bear. Of course, many dogs wouldn't stand close to the ferocious polar bear, but not this guy. But in fairness, the polar bear didn't seem interested in making a meal of the Malamute either. Of course, we all know how much damage its swipe can cause, but you have to give it to the little guy. Number 19. German Shepherd This German Shepherd was seen defending itself from a leopard. To counter this threat, homeowners have dogs standing watch should the leopards come around while the stray dogs form a pack to defend themselves. Interestingly, this German Shepherd was able to fend off the leopard despite the odds being stacked against him. And this German Shepherd met a snake in their garden and fearlessly attacked it. A German Shepherd has the bite force of 238 PSI, just a few tens short of a tiger shark. Hence, one bite was enough to do damage to the snake. His greatest task was to stay away from the snake's bangs, which he did superbly. Give me that throw. Give me that throw. Get him. Here we see a German Shepherd in action against a coyote. Number 18. Rottweilers. Rottweilers are strong guard dogs that can measure as high as 27 inches and weigh up to 125 pounds. So, seeing one make a wild boar whine for its life is an understandable sight. Although loving and playful, a Rottweiler is genetically strong and powerful enough to easily knock out and kill wild animals like bears and even lions. They were originally bred to butcher dogs, carrying meat carts from place to place. They're also helpful in search and rescue operations as well as hunting. Did you know Rottweilers were used to search and rescue victims of the 9-11 attack in New York? Further, they boast speed and agility, making them a hard target for wild animals like snakes. Therefore, they have no problem taking on a snake and defeating it. Number 17. Great Dane These tall and graceful dogs from Germany are also a threat to wild animals. Don't let their friendly nature fool you. It would interest you to know that these pooches were originally bred to hunt boar, so they still possess some of those instincts. This Great Dane is doing his ancestors proud by hunting a wild boar. The first generation of Great Danes was developed to be brave, strong, and aggressive to take down such a game that tends to be very aggressive and often charge at predators when hunted. However, after a couple of years, the popularity of boar hunting declined, and so did the need for Great Danes. Consequently, the breeders rebranded the Great Dane to a calmer, gentler breed we now know and love. These gentle giants double as excellent guard dogs and can sniff threats from a mile away. Number 16. Bully Kutta Bully Kutta, or the Pakistani Bully, is a dog breed with a very large, thick-boned, muscular structure, and they're called the Beast from the East for good reason. Bully Kuttas were bred for fighting and hunting and, as such, have the physique to match some wild animals for size and ferociousness. For one, they're an absolute nightmare to wild boars. Wild boars may be fast, strong, and evasive, but they can't beat the bully cutta. Bully cuttas are hunting dogs, 
famed for their incredibly strong jaws that deliver powerful bites like this one. One bite, and it's game over for the catch. However, since they don't have the predatory instincts of wild animals, they mainly bite and hold down the game until their owners arrive. Even in cases of monkey infestation, the bully cutta is more than able to defend your territory. Monkeys know better than to test these guys. Number 15. Kangol Next, we've got the Defender of Livestock. These guys were and are bred to protect sheep, goats, and chickens from bears, jackals, wolves, and other wild animals. Their size, appearance, and temperament have been selectively bred for several years, resulting in a dog that lives to protect its owner, family, and livestock. This explains why even a wolf pack knows better than to attack a kangle. And when this wolf was caught snooping around by this kangle, it knew its game was up. The kangle ensured he not only held the wolf down until his master came, but also taught it a lesson not to come around his home again. Kangle dogs are so formidable that they've been likened to a lioness. They even slightly resemble one too. Their giant athletic bodies with independent and courageous personalities are topped off with them having the strongest jaws of any dog breed. Number 14. Alibi Nope, that isn't a guy in a tiger costume. Don't ask me how the dog got in the cage with a tiger and a lion and still ended up bossing them. With an alibi on guard, other wild animals dare not come close. Alibis are big, powerful dogs that can weigh in the ballpark of 160 pounds. Despite their large size, they have the perfect balance between strength and agility, which is well-suited for guarding and herding livestock. Alibis are found mainly in Central Asia, where they encounter tigers. Here we see a tiger being confronted by an alibi dog. He dares not leave that water. These dogs are fiercely loyal to their owners and would valiantly defend them if they sense any danger. Furthermore, alibis have been known to track and even kill wolves that attack their livestock, making them a highly prized breed in their native Central Asia. Number 13. Pitbull This coyote made the deadly mistake of attempting to attack the pitbull's owner and got the lesson of its life. The pitbull soon got engaged with the coyote, leaving it with serious injuries. A coyote is no match for a pitbull in terms of strength, bite force, and sheer power. But the coyote has a killer instinct the pitbull doesn't. So a pack of coyotes could easily take down a pitbull. These loyal and brave dogs, once the face of the American forces, have a bite force of 235 PSI. So when this deer wandered into this pit bull's territory, it knew better than to stick around for long. These originally British dogs were bred for the ugly sport of dog fighting, making it a ferocious breed that always looks to get what it wants. Their history and bite statistics have earned them bad publicity. However, pit bulls are sweet, loving, loyal dogs that love to please their owners. Number 12. Dogo Argentino This Dogo Argentino led a team of stray dogs to drive off a mountain lion known to attack livestock around the area. Dogo Argentino is an athletic, muscular, strong, and highly intelligent dog breed, although they tend to test their owner's patience. They found a purpose in big game hunting, police force, military, and family dogs. Unfortunately, they also have a history of dog fighting. They're now used for hunting hogs and wild boars. A dogo argentino named Morocho once saved two little girls in La Cocha, Argentina. The girls had gone to play under a giant fig tree when they were attacked by a puma. Luckily, their dogo went with them and was on hand to fight off the puma. One of the girls climbed up the tree where the puma, which was laying ambush in the branches, attacked her and left her with scratch wounds before jumping down. Once on the ground, the puma was attacked by the dogo and the girls were saved. Before we look at the next 10 dog breeds, here's a little question for you. Which dog breed is regarded as the most intelligent? And do you think they'd make this video? Be sure to leave your answers down below. I'll find out if you're right or wrong in a bit. Let's get back to it. Number 11. Cane Corso 
When these wolves came to make an easy meal of the livestock on this farm, it had no idea a Cane Corso was on guard. Cane Corso is an Italian breed of Mastiff, originally bred to be guardian dogs and hunters, and they've continued to live up to that billing. Cane Corsos are known for their muscular and stocky build with large heads and short, stiff coats in different colors. Here we see some Cane Corsos demonstrating their natural hunting instincts as they try to sniff out the prey hiding under the log. Cane Corsos boast a top speed of 32 miles per hour and a bite force of 700 psi, making them a breed capable of taking on any wild animal. They're also loyal, protective dogs that love to be the center of attention. Interestingly, the breed has been featured in many paintings where they are portrayed fighting lions in ancient Rome. And it's easy to see why. <coughs> Number 10. Doberman Another dog breed that would be an absolute nightmare to wild animals and some people is the Doberman. Their wedge-shaped head and seemingly frowning faces is enough to make an intruder or wild animal think twice about attacking. Dobermans are very intelligent dogs, regarded as the fifth most intelligent dog in the world, that are gentler and more affectionate than we give them credit for. But once their ears are pricked and teeth snarling, you know they've become a totally different beast. They were originally bred to be fierce guard dogs in Apolda, Germany by a tax collector named Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman. He needed a fierce watchdog to accompany him as he went about his business. And voila, the Doberman was produced. These protective dogs can clock at a top speed of 32 miles per hour and have been employed in police and military duties. Number 9. Irish Wolfhound With an average top speed of 20 miles per hour, the Irish Wolfhound is one breed equipped for wildlife hunting as well as protecting its owners from threats. These giant dogs can tower as high as 2 meters on their hind legs. They were bred to have such heights to match wolves and other game for size when they hunt. Although they have a hunting history, Irish Wolfhounds are gentle giants with a calm temperament that make great companions when raised properly. These guys usually take their Wolfhounds for coyote hunting during the winter. They carry out this hunt in order to push the coyote back from human settlements, as they tend to move into cities when the resources in the wild are depleted. Also, the coyote population is believed to have grown massively over the last few years, and they've become a bit of a nuisance to nearby settlements. Number 8. Presa Canario A name like this is enough to strike fear in the hearts of anyone who hears it. If its intimidating figure doesn't scare you witless first, Presa Canarios were initially bred on the Canary Islands, where they were used to herd cattle and sheep as well as protect livestock from wild animals. Their robust, muscular builds and prominent heads make it hard to believe these guys are gentle and affectionate with their owners and families. But one thing's for sure, they're one heck of a ruthless defender. You should also know that these guys don't do too well with other animals they weren't raised with and can often be territorial to strangers. Presa Canarios have roots in dogfighting, which makes them fearless and naturally aggressive towards a perceived threat. Some folks still use them for wild boar hunting, where their bite force of 540 psi and sheer power comes into play. Their bite force is enough to take down a wolf. This clip demonstrates their greatest striking ability. Number 7. Borble it's common to see a dog whose name translates to farmer's dog chase off a baboon from its territory. These guys were used as guard dogs on the farm in native South Africa. The gist is that they were also used for hunting baboons that would ravage farms that time. Borbles can be regarded as the rock of dogs as they tend to be on the bigger side of things, measuring about 66 centimeters and weighing an average of 200 pounds. So you understand why they were used for hunting not just baboons, but also leopards, hyenas, and lions, which were bigger threats. Of course, the Borble didn't necessarily kill these big cats, but their colossal presence on the farm or on hunts served as a deterrent. Over time, they've evolved to embrace their calmer, friendlier side, and their biggest flaw is being loyal to a fault. Number 6. Rhodesian Ridgeback 
Just like the Borbel, the Rhodesian Ridgeback was bred in South Africa, where they developed a hunt, you guessed it, lions, leopards, and maybe baboons as well. So consequently, they have no problem attacking wild animals when they come too close for comfort or out hunting. With a top speed of 30 miles per hour, hunting hogs and wild boars is well within their forte. Coupled with their hunting skills, Ridgebacks are devoted protectors with a formidable presence that will make any wild animals or intruders think twice. Although the Rhodesian Ridgeback isn't a breed you'd be keen to pat on the head when you visit for the first time, they are charming, loyal dogs that make good companions, even among kids. In addition, Ridgebacks are relatively quiet dogs that only bark when they absolutely have to. Once the ridge on their backs is out, these guys aren't messing around. They'd go all out to protect their owners and families from all threats. They have a bite force of 224 PSI, capable of crushing bones and killing smaller prey. Number 5. Belgian Shepherd This tag team of a Belgian Shepherd and a German Shepherd cornered a wild pig while they waited for their owner's arrival. The Belgian Shepherd is a breed that often gets confused with the German Shepherd. Both have similar appearance, name, and traits, but they're two different breeds with varying personalities. No one's going to blame you for mixing them up sometimes. The Belgian Shepherd is a large, strong breed that's muscular, tall, and full of strength and energy. And as the name implies, they excel in herding and dog sports. In addition, Belgian Shepherds are intelligent, highly trainable, and designed to perform a job. Consequently, they're a very versatile breed used for various purposes such as assistance dogs, detection dogs, guard dogs, police dogs, search and rescue, and even family dogs. You can call them the all-rounder breed. Number 4. St. Bernard When a dog sends two buffaloes scampering like this, you know it's got to be one with a lot of tenacity, power, and great herding skills. This colossal breed was originally bred to become farm dogs in the French Alps. They performed guarding, herding, and drafting jobs. St. Bernards were predominantly used as mountain rescue dogs, where their size, thick fur, and strong scents were handy in search and rescue missions. A monk named Bernard de Menthon wanted to rid the Montjou Pass, a snowy path leading to Italy of bandits and thieves who attacked passers-by and also rescue victims of their attacks. So he and his team of dogs set out on their mission and eventually succeeded in expelling the bad guys and setting up a hospice for travelers to recharge. His dogs ended up being named after him, and they still possess those traits. An average St. Bernard towers at about 70 to 76 centimeters and weighs between 120 and 180 pounds. Therefore, there are no pushovers for any wild animal or intruder. Number 3. Golden Retrievers Golden Retrievers are also on the top end of the list of most intelligent dogs. They're undoubtedly one of the most popular dog breeds in the world, and they've been used for several duties. Despite their playful, goofy demeanor, they're excellent hunters and trackers that pick up and follow scents. During hunting, Golden Retrievers are famed for having a soft mouth, meaning they can carry a game such as ducks in their mouth without damaging it. Some even say they can carry a raw egg in their mouth without cracking its shell. However, that doesn't mean they don't bite hard when they need to. Drop the duck. Drop it. Number 2. American Bully This American Bully has a duel with a snake that slithered into its territory. The snake looks unfazed about the dog, but so is the American Bully. But when the snake turned its back on the dog, it presented the dog with an opportunity to attack, which it made good use of to end the fight once and for all. You see, the American Bully might not be one of the biggest dogs, but its fearlessness and aggressiveness towards threats make it an intimidating protector. American Bully, albeit being a different breed from the Pit Bull, shares a similar muscular build and tenaciousness. They also get similar general misconceptions even when the American Bully was specifically bred to have a soft and mellow personality. They may only grow as high as 20 inches, but can weigh up to 150 pounds. Some people even use these adorable companion dogs to hunt wild boars, which they also do excellently. 
Before we go to our number one pick, it's time to reveal the answer to the question we asked earlier about the most intelligent dog breed. The answer is the Border Collie. The Border Collie is regarded as the smartest of all dogs, but they don't have the savageness to make this list. Number 1. Tibetan Mastiff Our number one pick for today's video is none other than the Tibetan Mastiff, a breed regarded as a lion dog for its lion-like fur and incredible size. Underneath all that fluff is a large, muscular dog that can be hardy yet very protective. These guys have an average height of about 66 centimeters and grow bigger than some wolves. Check out how this Tibetan Mastiff is bossing these wolves. These pooches were originally bred in the Himalayas to protect homes and livestock. They're one of the strongest dogs in the world with a bite force of 560 PSI, which is more than pit bulls and German shepherds. The wolf may be deadlier, but the Tibetan Mastiff is not one to back out of a fight, so it's more likely to wear the wolf out in a fight or tussle. Check out how this wolf was whimpering for the Tibetan Mastiff to let go of its lunch. <laughs> but the dog isn't having any of it, because what a Tibetan Mastiff wants, a Tibetan Mastiff gets. They're fearless, ruthless, and can be very imposing, even with their owners. If the dogs were to go to war with wild animals, they'd be better off with the Tibetan Mastiff being the vanguard. And with that, we've come to the end of another exciting time on Forever Green. Which one of these dogs would you count on to rescue you from a wild animal? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.